Hello students, so let's see now the RSA algorithm. The first thing we'll see is how to find the two keys for RSA. Okay. So uh, what you will be given is kind of two prime integers P and Q or you can choose them. Uh, so that's the first step. So choose um, Okay, so choose a now given two prime integers, okay, P and Q, right? So now what you have to find is find n, which is P times Q. Then find uh, P minus 1 times Q minus 1. Then what you should do is uh, here you have the liberty of choosing an integer that is <coughs> what that is uh, relatively choose an integer e as the encryption key such that e is relatively prime to P minus 1 times Q minus 1 and then once you choose it find the decryption key D such that D is the multiplicative inverse of E in the class modulo P minus 1 times minus 1 okay so these are the four steps for the uh, for finding the encryption decryption keys for the RSA algorithm so let's go through an example <coughs> uh, let's see the second one which we didn't see in class okay so let's say a given P is 17 and Q is 23 so again these are prime integers right so P and uh, Q are prime integers so first find n which is p times q so 17 times 23 is 391 and p minus 1 times q minus 1 so p is 17 so 16 times q is 23 so 22 is equal to 352. So next step is to choose an integer e as your encryption key such that e is relatively prime to p minus 1 times q minus 1. So um, and uh, I will require you to choose the encryption key to be at least 10. So you want to choose um, an integer e which is at 10 or above such that it is relatively prime to this p minus 1 times q minus 1. And we see that it to be a 3 p minus 1 q minus 1 is an even number. So we know it cannot be relatively prime to another even number, right? So you cannot have 10. So let's try 11. So if you try 11, um, Uh, is le uh, so what you have to do is check whether 11 and 352 are relatively prime so GCD of 352 comma 11 is going to be GCD of 11 comma 352 divided by 11 is 32 the reminder is 0 so um, it is 11 so it's not 1, right? So let's try 12. 12 is not really going to be relatively prime to 352. So let's try 13. Okay. So 352 divided by 13 minus 27 times 13. The reminder is directly uh, 1. So it's going to be 13 comma 1, which is the CD of 1 comma 0. So it's 1. So 13 is relatively prime to 352. So 13 is going to be uh, our encryption key. So now we want to find a decryption key that is the multiplicative inverse of 13 in the class modulo 352. So we have to solve the Euclid's extended Euclid's algorithm uh, where we want to find uh, the multiplicative inverse of 13 in the class modulo 352. So that is equivalent to solving 
352 times x plus 13 times y is 1. So you want to find uh, y is the multiplicative inverse of 13 in the class modulo 352. So your m is 352, n is y. Uh, so n is 13. So uh, this is this is the initialization 352 13 uh, quotient in the first step is nothing then 1 0 0 1 so then 352 divided by 13 the uh, quotient is 27 the remainder was 1 right and then this is like 27 times 0 subtracted from 1 so that's going to be 1 minus 27 times 0 so that's going to be 1 and then this one is going to be 0 minus 27 times 1 so that's going to be negative 27 so then you have 13 and 1 so 13 divided by 1 the quotient is 13 the remainder is 0 so right away we can stop here and say 1 is the uh, multiplicative inverse of 352 in the class modulo 13 and vice versa we are interested really in this so negative 27 um, so negative 27 is the multiplicative inverse of 13 in class modulo 352 so if you want you have to subtract so I add 352 to make it a positive integer so that's what we are doing so 352 minus 27 325 is the multiplicative inverse of 13 in class modulo 352 so if I do this if I do 325 times 13 I get this I divided by 352 minus 12 times 352 the remainder is 1 so you can verify whether you have found the multiplicative inverse okay how do you do that as i did here in the calculator just multiply 325 times 13 and the whole thing you do the mod you should get the remainder to be 1 okay all right so you have found the encryption key and decryption key so the encryption key is going to be you can you have to say encryption key I think I have written here Let me. encryption is going to be 13 comma 391 your n value and decryption key is 325 comma 391 okay so now let's go through how to do this encryption <coughs> for a plain text uh, 127 so uh, we do 127 rise to 13 the encryption key mod 391 so this is the uh, modular exponentiation we have to do so what we have to do is write this 13 in binary which is this 1101 so find the exponents 127 rise to 1 mod 391 is 127 127 square mod 391 is going to be 127 times 127 divided by 391 which is this minus 41 so the fraction part so the remainder is 98 okay so 127 rise to 4 mod 391 is 127 square times 127 square mod 391 so I can bring the mod 391 inside so this makes it 98 and 98 so I'll get what 98 times 98 divided by 391 minus 24 times 391 is going to be 220 so 220 is the quotient now 127 rise to 8 mod 391 is 127 rise to 4 times 127 rise to 4 which is 220 times 220 mod 391 is this times 391 so the reminder is 307 so you want to compute 127 rise to 13 which is 127 rise to 8 times 127 rise to 4 times 127 rise to 1 so 127 rise to 8 is 307 127 rise to 4 uh, mod uh, is 220 right mod 391 is 220 then 127 mod 391 is 127 itself so you don't need to really multiply all the three directly so what we can do is do 307 times 220 and take the mod 
which is 288 and 288 times 127 is 213 so that's going to be your cipher text okay so now what you should do is to decrypt you have to use the decryption key so 213 rise to the decryption key is 325 mod 391 so now we have to write the decryption key 325 in binary so that comes out to be something like this okay so you write the exponents of 2 and fill it up from left to right so 250 the next uh, next higher term is 512 so 512 is more than 325 so we, we will stop at 256 and 256 is less than 325 so put a 1 over here and the remainder is what 325 minus 256 it's going to be 69 so this cannot be a 1 so it is 0 then 64 is less than 69 so you can put a 1 the remainder is 5 you cannot put a 1 for any of this and then you can put a 1 and then 1 that adds up to 5 totally adding up to 325 so we keep on computing 213 rise to 1, 213 rise to 2, 213 rise to 4 and so on up to 213 rise to 256 so 213 rise to 1 mod 391 is 213 213 square mod 391 is going to be 213 times 213 uh, divided by 391 going to be 13 then 213 rise to 4 mod 391 is 213 square times 213 square but 213 square mod 391 is 13 so it's basically 13 times 13 mod 391 13 times 13 is 169 mod 391 is 169 itself then 213 rise to 8 mod 391 is 213 rise to 4 times 213 rise to 4 but 213 rise to 4 mod 391 is 169 so it is 169 times 169 so 169 times 169 mod 391 so it's going to be 18 so we keep doing like this <coughs> and then you want to compute 213 rise to 325 so it's going to be 213 rise to 256 times 213 raised to 64 times 213 raised to 4 times 213 raised to 1 so you add up them so it's going to be 239 raised to 256 is 239 times 154 169 213 so again you don't have to multiply all of them at a stretch just do step by step so 239 times 154 is going to be this mod 391 is this minus 94 times 391 so that's 52 then this 169 times 169 divided by 391 minus 22 in times 391 that is 186 and 186 times is 213 that is 101 times 391 so that is 127 and that was the plain text we started with okay So you see that this 127 is a plain text. Right, let's stop with this.